heard the last movie Heroes, so I just saw an amazing film called Sorry to Bother You. Um, if you don't know much about this film, if you've seen the trailers, then that's great because I went in with that same attitude, not knowing much about what this film was going to be about, and I was completely amazed with everything that I saw from the beginning to the end. First off, it's classified, if you look it up on IMDb, as a comedy, drama, I'm sorry, comedy, sci-fi, fantasy. So, I kind of knew about the comedy, didn't know about the sci-fi, didn't know about the fantasy. I knew that it was kind of um, supposed to be an alternate, you know, uh, modern day, you know, alternate reality. And that's pretty much what I knew about it. And it's not slapstick comedy, it's not anything that's completely, um, I don't want to say that's completely uh, unbelievable, but there's, we know what certain parts are. That's why it's so hard to try to classify this film because it's um, it's just, it's a wonderful film. Um, it stars with Keith David. If you don't know who he is, he plays Darius on an FX series Atlanta that's written, produced, and starring Donald Glover. And um, I, you know, I gotta say that this guy pretty much knocks this role out of the park. He plays Cassius Green, an unemployed, uh, everyday guy who lives in the garage, who lives in his uncle's garage. His uncle who's played by Terry Crews with a wig. Uh, once again, not that much screen time, but the little screen time that he, that he has is absolutely, you know, it's, it's funny, it's, it's, uh, it's relevant, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty good role. And the rest of the ensemble cast includes Tessa Thompson, who was in Thor Ragnarok as Valkyrie. You got Stephen Yoon uh, from The Walking Dead, who plays Glenn on The Walking Dead, who played Glenn on The Walking Dead. You also got Army Hammer, uh, if you remember him from The Long Ranger and What Men From Uncle. And you got the great, the great, amazing Danny Glover, whose role, once again, is small, but extremely necessary. Look, there was pretty much nothing about this movie that I didn't enjoy. I just wished, you know, that it was a little bit longer because there was so much going on. I mean, the last 30 minutes of the movie are, com it's completely uh, unexpected because that's when it really turns into a sci-fi film, uh, sci-fi fantasy, whatever you want to call it. But up to that point, you just think it's one of those comedies set in an alternate universe, alternate reality that is just a little bit off center from the norm. Um, this is a movie, you know, it's directed by a guy named Boots Riley. And I believe this is his first, you know, uh, major motion picture. If I'm wrong on that, you know, leave the comments below and we can talk about it. But he has done an amazing job writing, directing this film, and I like his style a lot. Um, there's a sort of just, I, I, I want to call it something like Wes Anderson if Wes Anderson was black, um, maybe. But there's so much going on in the film that uh, I, I, it was not overwhelming, but it was just so likable. Uh, this is one of those, one of those underground movies that that is sure to become some type of cult classic because I can stand and watch this movie over and over again and still find things about it that I like because it's funny, it's it's, it's interesting, it's just something that should be recognized around reward season, you know, hint, hint, Oscars or whatever you want to call it. But I love Sorry to Bother You. If you have not seen it, go out and see it. It was in a limited release a while ago, but now it's in full release, and I don't think it's getting net as much play as it deserves, but this is one of those films that you definitely should not miss. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to pop up on Blu-ray and DVD and digital sometime within the next couple of months. But before it does, I mean, do yourself a favor and go sit in the theater. It's actually well worth that. Hey guys, that's my time. As always, uh, leave the comments below. If you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Last Movie Hero. And do me a little love. Show me some love and hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time with The Last Movie Hero. Lee out.